Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to another vlog. I just sat here and ate breakfast. I had a bagel and berries. I just inhaled it. I was so hungry. Um, it is currently 9.30 on Thursday, March 21st. I'm heading to get my nails done, then I have to run a few errands, and then tonight I'm getting dinner with some gals. I'm heading to get my nails done. I have my baby shower this weekend, and I don't want this color. Um, and they're a little bit grown out. I wish... I'm, I'm just, like, having bad timing with the nail fill-ins. You know when you're, like having bad timing for events coming up in your life and you want your nails to look fresh, but like the timing just doesn't keep working out. So I wanted my nails to be fresh for the baby moon. And so now they're like partially grown out and I don't really need a fill, but I want to fill for the baby shower. So anyways, we're just going to go get a nail fill. Um, and then I have to go run some errands for the baby shower. My baby shower is this weekend. I'm driving home on Saturday morning and my baby shower is on Sunday. So I thought this vlog could be like a Thursday, Friday kind of getting things together prepping for the baby shower but also a lot of house updates we have a lot of like living room updates the new coffee table came and i'm really happy with how the living room looks just organizing the house and things like that so i thought i would do a little thursday friday vlog also tomorrow friday I have my glucose test in the morning which i've been super anxious about i'm just like ready to get it out of the way i'll be 30 weeks tomorrow so i thought i could vlog that as well so it's just gonna be like a little two-day vlog heading into the weekend and then we'll do a baby shower vlog have i been saying baby moon or baby shower this whole time i can't even remember because i'm losing my mind it's currently 9 30. i have a little bit of time before i need to leave i have a little bit of work to do i just feel so tired today i didn't sleep very well i woke up to dylan's alarm at 4 45 and then i just kind of rolled around in bed until like 7 30 and then closed my eyes till like 8 15 and then i got up because i was like this i'm just like wasting time so here we are i'm about to make a little coffee i just had breakfast like i said but i wanted to show you guys some living room updates because we got a new coffee table in and i love it so much rue do you want to show them the living room because you love it winnie you might be the cutest dog i've ever seen laying there next to your food bowl i don't think you could get any cuter than that you're cute too <laughs> Okay, do you guys want to go potty? Let's go. The morning light in the living room is my literal favorite. Here is the living room update. I'm so excited. We got the TV hung yesterday and we got the surround sound speakers and the security and everything set up. So everything is all finally ready and good to go, which is very exciting. <laughs> Look at Winnie. Um, the only thing that's missing in this living room is, and I wanted to ask y'all's opinion. I had an idea of getting a bookshelf here. Also ignore this coffee table we sold it so someone's coming to pick it up we got a new coffee table this one's from mcgee and co and it's a really soft like padded ottoman which dylan always has wanted because when we sit here now that we don't have the sectional it's nice to put your feet up and it's like cozy and you can push it in and kind of make it a sectional i also thought long term for baby toddler stages it's just a little bit more safe having something soft here rather than this coffee table here that was like a lot of rough wooden edges. I had an idea to do like a big wooden bookcase here, like a closed in one so you couldn't see what's inside just to store like baby stuff, games, just like random things for the living room in the house just for extra storage. But now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, does it look better to just leave it open? I feel like there's a lot of white in here. I like how the rug is a little bit darker and the couch is a little bit darker but i thought maybe doing almost even like the color of this coffee table bookcase or cabinet or i was going to do a lighter one to match the beam please let me know what you guys would think <laughs> looks good because i'm like stumped i don't know what color of wood to go with and then once you order it, i feel like it's hard to return and all that kind of stuff so if i order it i want to make sure that i love it i feel like i love the living room so much but i don't want to over clutter it but i think it would be nice to have that little bit of extra storage but the chairs came from the old place and then this couch came from the old place as well. The couch is from Sixpenny and then pillows are from Envision Design, little local place here in Nashville. And then McGee & Co, like I said, that's from a little local place in Nashville. Envision Design's the bowl. Chairs are CB2, we had these in the last place and we love them. The other thing we need to do is take these sliding panels down. They're driving me nuts, I do not like them at all and I don't like how they don't touch the floor all the way. I wanna do a curtain rod, but I'm trying to figure out if I should do curtains like a track all the way to the top and just like have them like the whole wall or if i just should do basic curtains and push them to the side here the only thing with putting them all the way to the wall it would look really pretty but then i feel like i'd have to do it with this window 
and then also this window which I don't want to do I don't know what to do about that <laughs> I'm just trying to make my mind up with the curtains and then maybe a piece of art right here I'm not sure I kind of like walls to be plain to be honest I'm weird about that kind of stuff we have this big piece of art here and then I feel like once we get all the curtains up on these windows it'll look more full and I don't want to like over clutter the space so it's fuzz off the ground um anyways that is the living room updates the rug is from rugs USA it's literally my favorite rug I think we've ever had I will link it for you guys and I have a code I will put it in the description it's so good there's other colors too this is a little local shop and then this light is from Amazon so I can link that too it's like 70 bucks and I love it I feel like it's just very peaceful very bright calm and I just like love sitting here and Dylan and I have been really enjoying the space. When he loves to sit out here on this couch, it's so cute. Come on, puppies. Let's go. What would you like? <laughs> Those are the few little living room updates that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, I also got questions. I posted a picture of the living room yesterday on Instagram. This TV is the frame TV, but the artwork, I never buy like the extra artwork off of like the Samsung app, I think is what you can do. I always just go to YouTube and I type in like spring frame TV art or like winter or Christmas, whatever the holiday is. And they have these like YouTube videos that last for like five hours and it's just like a YouTube video playing. So that's what I always put on the screen. This one is really cute. It's like a little springtime one. Okay, it's always so dark right here because I'm like very backlit in this hallway, but it's okay. I wanted to show you guys my little jumper outfit. I got these from Free People. I have it in a blue and then this creamy oatmeal color. And I kind of just started wearing them because to be honest, it's like really <laughs> one of the only things that is fitting the bump. I just have a little Daily Drills ribbed tee underneath. And then I'm wearing this in a size medium. Super comfy. I feel like I'm literally wearing my pajamas. And then these slides are super old from... Revolve. I'll link this jumper if you guys are pregnant. It's like a staple outfit. Once you get towards the end of pregnancy, it's just like so easy to throw on. Um, but if you're also not pregnant, I've seen them on girls and they're super cute. I'll definitely keep mine and continue wearing it after, but I did do a size medium instead of a small just for the length, but super cute and comfy. I wanted to come up here and grab my baby shower dress. This is a little dress right here. It's from the brand Daily Sleeper. Um, I got one of my wedding looks from this brand and they have the cutest stuff. There's a little flower down here on it. You guys will see it on me and my baby shower vlog, but I want to do a color very similar to this. I think I'm going to do French tips in like the blue. So I think I'm going to bring this dress with me to show her or like color match. Ignore this mess. This is <laughs> on my to-do list. We finally got everything finally over from the old closet and it just needs to be put away. Like it's just a mess in here. This is the other color of the jumper that I have on. I got this like royal blue, super cute. It's from the free people movement section. Maybe the lighting is a little bit better in here. We are bumping today, you guys. It's so crazy. I feel like I notice a difference every single day now that we're getting towards the end and the little belly button has popped out. We're just feeling very pregnant over here. I am really trying to soak in this pregnancy and like enjoy it instead of just wishing for the next thing like for him to be here um, because I know looking back after I'm done having babies I'll be like oh I'm sad I miss pregnancy I think because I have really enjoyed it but I am starting to get to the point where I'm starting to feel a little bit uncomfortable I feel like my body is starting to swell a little bit like my I have a Cartier ring that I always wear on this finger and then I have this like other little diamond emerald ring that I wear on this one both of them like I cannot wear anymore because my fingers start to swell the wedding ring still fits, but I'm only giving it probably a few more weeks, if not days, because my fingers are starting to swell. I feel like around my face, I'm starting to notice like the weight gain and stuff, which I'm not complaining about, but I just feel like I'm starting to like realize it in my body. And the belly's getting big. I'm always out of breath. I'm starting to feel tired all the time. The third trimester really does start to kick in and get you. I've also been having this terrible pain that shoots from like my tailbone slash like lower hip area down through my leg which I kind of looked up and they said it's like the sciatic nerve I think and I've been trying to do like stretches and like workouts and stuff for like the pelvic floor and all that through like the sculpt society I've been like following along her prenatal program but there's only like so much I feel like I can do I'm just like ready to get my body back to what it was and like back in shape but also like I said trying to enjoy what my body is doing and giving me so 
that's where we're at with the 30 week update i'm exactly 30 weeks tomorrow so technically like 30 weeks at this point anyways i need to grab a little jacket because it's a little bit nippy out to not have a long sleeve on but the problem is is i like put all my jackets up because i was like oh it's gonna start being warm so now i have like my spring stuff i have like sweatshirts and sweaters but maybe we can do this like jenny kane sweater over this maybe this will fit probably won't <laughs> we'll just do this sweater and i'll just tuck it up that is that i'm gonna grab a purse and then we'll be ready to go i think i'm gonna do this little bottega bag i've not carried this person so long and it fits my vlog camera so i can bring you guys with here's the cozy little fit off to get our nails done back from nails i ended up getting a french tip with this blue color and it literally matches the dress perfect i'm glad i brought the dress with because it literally could not match more perfectly i love doing a french and i thought doing the light blue for the baby shower would be fun so obsessed and then whenever you do the french i feel like it grows out so you have longer because it grows out just clear these will be the nails for the next few weeks i had a few packages so i thought we could unbox them oh i really wanted to run to the mall like on my way home from nails because i literally had to pass it but i had to go home because i forgot that i have a meeting at 3 30 and it's 2 15 and i was like that is gonna be cutting it close so i need to go to sephora to get a few little baby shower gifts i want to do like cute little summer fridays lip balms and just like little cute things and then wrap some silk bows around just for like the game winners we're playing like a few games at the baby shower apparently i'm not sure what the games are but my mom put me in charge of getting the gifts so I thought that could be a cue, maybe like some candles or something. Yesterday I did like a panic order on Amazon and just started ordering a bunch of stuff that I knew that I needed for the baby and for the house and stuff. So that stuff is slowly starting to come in. I wanna do like a full Amazon haul of all of it, but this is not very exciting. I just had to get some gold hardware to hang up one of the shower curtains. And then this is a little cover for the Swaddle Me Organic. So it's just like a little linen cover. I wanted to have an extra cover in case he like spits up or something on one of the covers. And so I can have one in the wash and one not. I saw these shoes on Revolve and I had to order them. So I got them in blue. They had like a mint color and then a gray, which I already have the gray, but they always get so dirty. But I thought, how cute. You guys know I love my Birkenstock slides for like summer and spring and stuff and with it getting harder to like put my shoes on and like tie my shoes and stuff um i thought these would be like a good slide on for the next few weeks i love 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 the color of these i wear a size seven and a half eight in shoes and i get the size 39 and i checked and these are still in stock so i will link them i love birkenstocks they're so good i feel like they're probably not the best for my feet like arches the pain in my feet have gone away so i started being able to wear like flat shoes again um i swear the hokas have like changed my life those are like some of the best shoes ever like sneakers so i always wear those when i'm like walking around or like wearing athletic clothes and i feel like that really helped my foot pain back from trader joe's i wanted to do a little mini trader joe's haul before i put all this stuff away i just took it out of the bag i haven't been to trader joe's in so long we really didn't need anything especially because i'm leaving town and <laughs> dylan has work all week and i know he won't cook at the house so i just got a few things obviously you can tell my biggest craving is still fruit um and then just a few random things that i like getting from trader joe's that i wanted to stock up on for the new place so i got a bunch of flowers they really did not have a good flower selection which i was sad about because i wanted to do like white roses greenery all that stuff but they had nothing so i just got three things of these i guess it's tulip mixed with a peony peony double tulip so i got three of those i thought i could put one in the kitchen and then on the little coffee table and then i got some more fruit i got cotton candy grapes which i'm so excited about i got some blackberries i've been loving these i don't know if they're like in season or what but they've just been so good and then these were on display and they were saying how they were like in season really good and it was like this big sign that was like don't miss out before they're all gone so I grabbed a pack to put in a bowl. Some of them are kind of already soft and ripe, so I might have one. That's a little snack. This limeade, if you're not pregnant, is really good mixed in with vodka or something, but I just poured over ice as a little mocktail in a wine glass. It's really yummy. I got some blueberry muffin mix, but I'm not gonna use like the dehydrated blueberries that come in. I'm gonna put fresh blueberries in there and make a pack of those. I also wanted to try out this protein pancake mix. I've heard good things about it, and I always see Kate Davis, if you guys follow her, she's like, super in shape super high protein diet and i'm like 
I want what that girl's having. So I wanted to try these out. I got some more Greek yogurt, a bunch of fruit. I wanted to make a smoothie tomorrow. So I've got, obviously after my glucose test, because fruit is super high in sugar, so I'm not gonna eat this before, but a bunch of fruit and then some spinach. And then I got a thing of this vegetable fried rice for the freezer just to have. It's such a quick, easy meal if you like add an egg to it. That's a little Trader Joe's haul. I'm gonna get everything put away and get these flowers put into some bases. Today is a glucose test day. I'm a little anxious about it. I just like am nervous that the drink's gonna taste horrible, but um, I have the fruit punch flavor. They gave it to me at my last appointment it's in the fridge right now. And I have like instructions right here on what to do. It just said to eat a high protein and breakfast. So I just had three hard boiled eggs and some water. We're gonna go drive there. Once I get there, it says to drink the drink. I have five minutes to drink the drink. And then when I go into the office, I have an hour to get my blood taken. I know a lot of OBs that do it differently. That's just how they do it at mine. So that is what we are doing today. I've been anxious about this test for so long. I'm excited to get it over with. Prayers that I pass. Um, yeah, that's really it. Dylan's gonna meet me there. Even though we're not like seeing the baby today, he just wants to come, which I think is sweet. Um, so I'm not by myself, which will be nice um, in case like, the drink or getting my blood taken or anything makes me feel a little bit nauseous. I'm normally pretty good at like after I get my blood taken not like passing out or feeling nauseous or anything so I think we should be fine but you never know. I don't know how that drink is gonna make me feel. I know it's super sweet so that's what's up. It's like 7 a.m. and we're heading to doctors. Look at this belly. <laughs> you can't even see yourself. Why are you so dark? Because I need to blend in in the background. It's because you're wearing black. Mm -hmm. Say hi. <laughs> Yep. Okay, go time. Is my camera about tonight? I'm scared. I feel like I should wait till 7.40 because then it will go 7.40, 8.40 because it's like 7.38 is like hard timing. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Okay. I'm being so dramatic about it, stupid. I just like am scared of what it's going to taste like. I've been having like anxiety about this since maybe, Monday. Maybe you'll like how it tastes. <laughs> Smell it first and tell me how bad it's gonna be. Mm, it's gonna taste like cough syrup. I don't think I can do it. Rachel. I don't think I can. Put your big girl pants on. My big girl pants on have been, <laughs> my big girl pants have been on for 30 fucking weeks. And drink weeks. the drink. <laughs> I'm 30 weeks today. I know. Crazy. Okay, ready? Yep. Did you start it? No. Okay, it's not that bad. Uh, it is pretty bad, actually. Just chug it. Just chug it. It's pretty bad. Just chug it. I gotta turn this off. I feel stressed. Plug it. guys it is now nighttime I just got back from the mall um, after the doctor's appointment I came home and I napped for like three hours I wasn't feeling very well and then I got up did a little bit of work and then I went to the mall to get baby shower gifts which I kind of like showed you guys me putting the ribbons and stuff on them I'm so excited I think they turned out really cute um, I got a spray tan earlier actually before I took a nap she came over and sprayed me and the craziest thing happened you can't really tell on my face and like my hands and stuff but my belly I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but I got a spray tan and I don't know if it's just because it wasn't fully dry or like fully developed, but I put a robe on and I laid on the couch and I took like a three hour nap. And when I woke up, 
I looked at my body and I was like, why is my whole body green? It's definitely getting better. But I looked it up and it said sometimes when the tan like oxidizes or something, it turns green if it's like in a heated area. And I was like sweating while I was napping. <laughs> so I woke up with like a drool spot on my face where the tanner was off and like half my body is green. So I'm like, fingers crossed when I shower tonight, it like goes back to normal because I'm like, oh my gosh. But we're leaving for Georgia tomorrow, like morning, afternoonish. So I'm just kind of like getting my stuff together. I wanted to try on my baby shower outfit and like get the shoes and stuff together. I didn't end up buying shoes because I was like, Rachel, you have heels. You do not need to spend money on more shoes, especially because probably just gonna wear the heels for like pictures and just be barefoot for the actual shower. I don't even know if I've mentioned, but the baby shower is back home in Georgia. So I have to drive home. That's where most of my family and friends are. So um, that's like where we're hosting the shower. Sarah's hosting it for me and I'm so excited to see it. I gave her like a little bit of design inspo and like kind of what I wanted, but she's like doing the whole thing, which she does and has done all of my parties that I've ever like thrown for like wedding, baby, like anything like that. She always does everything. She has a full like party planning service. Now, you guys live in the Atlanta area. She has a full party planning service. It's called Wonderland Parties and she does like the most incredible job. So I'm gonna vlog the baby shower. I'm excited, that'll be the next vlog, but I'm gonna continue this vlog into tomorrow and the weekend just because the shower is on until Sunday. That's kind of what's been up today. I haven't gotten my glucose test results back yet. The drink, I feel like I was dramatic when I was drinking it because I felt like pressured, like, oh, you have to drink it at a certain time. And then I had to get blood drawn, which I was anxious about because I hate getting my blood taken. Um, now, looking back, it wasn't terrible. It definitely made me feel sick. It was very, very sugary. Um, it just tasted like cough syrup, basically. I had the fruit punch flavor. It was not good. Everyone says like lemon lime's better. Um, but I don't think, I have a hard time believing that any of them actually <laughs> taste good. So you just have to like drink in under five minutes and then get your blood taken exactly an hour after. So it's kind of just like, you feel anxious. We did get to hear the baby's heartbeat this morning, which was really nice. It was really strong and good. Um, and I'm like measuring on time and everything. So everything is going good with the baby. I just finished tying bows around all of these. I need to run to Target. I'll probably do it on my way out of town tomorrow and get little thank you cards to slip under these candles. Random cute little gifts from Sephora and Nordstrom as well for the prizes for like games that we're playing. My mom told me to get like eight to 10 prizes. So I did like these hand sanitizers. These are the best. I did Summer Friday's lip bombs i did some like mini candles and then some sugarfina candies so that is good to go i'm going to put all of this in a bag and then put these in there as well i saved this little nordstrom bag to put everything in when i ran into sephora i got two things for myself i've been seeing everyone talk about these glow recipe drops and they came out with the tinted one so i wanted to give it a go i think that this one just came out so I'll keep you guys updated with how those are and then i also got a new brow gel i wanted to get a tinted one i just have been using a clear so i just got this benefit brow wax and like this light what did i get neutral blonde color we've just been hanging out right <laughs> it just started raining i need to do like a quick pickup kind of styled this little area right here i'm waiting on curtains to come i ordered a bunch from ikea so we'll see how those turn out when they come hi <laughs> Debating if I want to put ottomans, like little circle ottomans underneath here. I gave the ones that were at our old place to Emily just because I felt like they were too big and they stuck out pretty far. And this is like a hallway, so I didn't want it to be like too much right here. So I was thinking maybe littler ones, but I also don't want to block this. So I'm going to wait to see what it looks like after I get um, some curtains hung. But styled this. I think it's super cute. I love this picture of Dylan and I. We need to get this table cleared off, but Dylan's tools... And everything are all sitting right there just because we have to hang the curtain rod so we just kept it out some returns i need to make and then another box of winter clothes that i need to bring to storage but other than that down here is pretty good i made some blueberry muffins earlier the store-bought ones from trader joe's they were really yummy and then my flowers are starting to bloom and they look so cute something about having fresh flowers in the house just Makes you feel like you have your life together. It is the next day, it's Saturday. I just got the car all packed. I got my stuff ready for the baby shower. I'm about to get on the road. The dogs are freaking out because they're like thinking they're coming with and they're not. Dylan is not going. He's just at work. So he'll be back and forth to take the dogs out. This is our little pantry room that I wanted to organize in this vlog. <laughs> it just did not happen. So I'm gonna do like a dedicated like container store run, organize the closet in the pantry vlog when we get back and we're like full on nesting mode. And then also the nursery. Those are like the three rooms that are not organized or put together yet. The closet here and the nursery. 
Once that's done, I'll feel like good about the house and the space. I'm gonna pack up a few little snacks for the road trip. So I don't have to stop and get like gas station food. I'm gonna bring these, they're so good. I'm gonna get a little bag of these peanut butter pretzels and then probably a little bag of grapes for the road trip. It's only like three and a half hours. It's not terrible. Um, but ever since I've gotten pregnant, I just like hate being in the car. So I'm hoping that this drive is not that bad. It's also a Saturday, so I'm hoping that there's not traffic. Um, but we'll see, fingers crossed. Update on the spray tan. The green came off of my chest, like it actually looks good, but my legs are like super splotchy and not good. So I'm glad that my dress is kind of like maxi length. It shows my legs a little bit, but it could be worse. I'm just glad that the green came off my chest because that would be so bad. I showered last night and I was like praying to God that it got even toned. The dogs are freaking out because every time they like see my suitcase or see me pack, they normally get in the car with me because I bring them to the farm or they come with to the beach or something. Um, I never like pack up and like leave them here because normally Dylan and I go together, but since Dylan's not coming home, he was gonna come home, but we wouldn't be able to leave till tomorrow early and the baby shower's at 11 o'clock. So we would have to leave like so early because they have like a clinic today where he has to be at work all day, which kind of sucks, but he's gonna come back and forth to let the pups out. And then I'll be back Monday. I'm actually gonna stay in, a, in Georgia until Monday, like afternoon, because it's my good friend Jenny's birthday. I'm gonna take her to lunch and see her before I head back to Nashville. So that's kind of the little plan. These are also already washed, if you guys are wondering why <laughs> to not wash them. I'm gonna make an ice water. I need to put peanut butter pretzels in a bag. I don't have any little bags, so I'm having to use these gallon size bags. Um, I'm gonna run to Target on my way out of town to get thank you cards and then we'll hit the road. I think that's everything. I have the car loaded up. I'm so excited to see family. Emily was FaceTiming me last night. She was with Carson. He's gotten so big and has like learned so many words and is so grown up and it's starting to make me sad because I feel like I miss out on his childhood and I'm just like so excited to go <laughs> and see him and play with him. So I'm really excited. My friend and pop are in town. My mom's there. Sarah, Emily, Carson, um, Aaron is there, which will be really fun. And then some of my like hometown friends and just like older family friends are coming to the shower. A couple of my good friends couldn't make it, which is obviously like reasonable. I have friends that live all over and it's just like a shower, like it's not that big of a deal, but um, I'm excited to see the few friends that will have made it and just like celebrate the baby. Um, it's so weird, I have to show you guys. Part of my Amazon order came in. I'm gonna save this like haul for the next vlog. But it's so weird seeing baby stuff in our house. Like Dylan was like, it's so weird that now we're gonna have like baby sanitizer around and just like baby laundry detergent and things like that. Like obviously we know we're having a baby and we're so excited about it. But just like seeing the baby stuff come in, it really is so, so crazy. Look who's here. Hi. <laughs> Carson, can you say hi vlog? Go vlog. <laughs> did he say it? Yeah, he did. Carson, say, say hi vlog. No, don't hold it like that. Hold it right here. Yep, hold it. Hold it tight. Three, two, <laughs> don't drop it. Stop it. <laughs> wow. Like this. Say. <laughs> say. Say Rachy. Say Rachy. Sit down. Sit down in your seat. And you can get grandma luck. There's grandma. Oh, I don't grandma. Think I want to be up here. No. <laughs> oh no. Go get grandpa. Opa. Right here. Let's see. Grandpa. Opa, what? say hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a short one. I think I need to double wash my spray tan off. I feel like I look. That was the first thing I noticed. My spray tan? Aaron came into town for the baby shower. <laughs> um, but we're driving to Emily's house. We just left Sarah's. We were there having dinner with family and stuff. But we're sleeping at Emily's. So Aaron and I are on our way there and we're passing a Dairy Queen. So we're going to try the new... What is it? Is it cake batter? Sorry, my blinker is probably so annoying. I've been seeing it on TikTok. So we're going to give you guys a review. Should we do a TikTok or should we do vlog? We should do vlog. Mm -hmm. We're not getting anything St. Patty's Day. After that, Shamrock Cookies <laughs> Nope. <laughs> okay, wait, let's... It's an all pass from me. Let me get you, you want spoons? 
Um, oh, we have spoons. We have some. You handed them to us. Thank you. Here's your card. Thank you. Thanks so much. You too. I feel stressed out because that lady in front of us. We have to taste test every single side of this thing. Wait, what do you mean? There's a spoon. I'm talking cone and all. Okay, so they stuck ours into the cup. <gasps> um, oh, one second. Why are you taking that off? Because I want to eat the entirety of the cone. But not right away. Okay. Cheers. <laughs> Did you ever go coning through the drive-thru where you grab the cone upside down? Did you ever do that with your friends? No, I was normal. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh boy! <laughs> I would do dirty things. <laughs> Stop, I can't breathe. I mean, yeah, this thing slaps. <laughs> I say eight I out will of ten. be thinking about this all week. Yeah, this is so good. Okay, we have to go because Jenny's ham out of ten. Mm -hmm.